Hi everyone, Tony from Hack the Movies here, and today we're going to talk about a stupid video game movie that people keep telling me is good. I don't know why. It's Double Dragon. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just waking up with some morning holiday shopping. When you have the best co-hosts and guests who love movies and pop culture, you need to shop at a site that also loves movies and pop culture. I think we all know what site I'm talking about. Zavi. Zavi is my favorite site to get pop culture goodies. They own the licenses for brands like Marvel, Pokemon, DC, Disney, Jurassic World, and more. They also ship worldwide from both their US and UK sites. They have so many holiday options available right now, and with their Cyber Weekend sale coming up, I can think of no better time to shop. I'm gonna get a Krampus bobblehead for Crystal, a Nemesis statue for Kieran, an Italian documentary for Trisha, and a Jurassic sack for Clayton. Click the link in the description and use code HACKMOVIES to get 10% off site-wide and 20% off clothing. Thanks, Savvy. Hello, Joey C, official Joey C, welcome back. Tony from Hack the Movies, thanks for having me on, buddy. It's yes, a pleasure. Yes, and I'm, I'm blanking. Where are you from again? Boy, I'm from Screen Rant. Oh my God, that, how can I forget? It's my favorite channel. Uh, you watch it all the time. All the time. You Snapchat me and say, Joe, it's 4 a.m. I'm watching Screen Rant again. No, 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 Tony, sleep. Please go to sleep. <laughs> I have it on a loop and I put headphones on so I hear your voice. <laughs> Screen rant hypno. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so we're doing Double Dragon because I was like, yes. yeah, sure, why not? I was looking at movies. I'm like, what, what's a video game movie that I don't really hear too many people talking about? Other people reviewed it, obviously. But like usually in this period, you're talking about the good one, Mortal Kombat. Yeah. You're talking about the really funny one, Street Fighter. And, and then you're talking about the crazy one, Super Mario Brothers. Yep. Double Dragon and like a few other movies kind of get overlooked. At it is. Time. It is under the radar a little bit. It is very under the radar. I don't even remember this being in theaters. You know what? That was a little bit before my time. Yeah. And I even told my cousin that I was watching Double Dragon. And you know what he said? What? I'm sorry. <laughs> you said you liked this one, though. I loved this one. I rented two movies consistently from Video King. It was Double Dragon and WrestleMania 14. <laughs> That was consistent. Is that the uh, last blood match with Stone Cold it and Red Hart? Yeah, and uh, Mike Tyson and, and Mike Sean Tyson Mike is the referee. Michaels. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, exactly, that's a good yeah. one. That's a good one. It's classic. So now, what? Explain to me, because I, I don't hate this movie. Like I don't hate this movie. I I had fun watching it. I watched it as a kid. So so I had played Double Dragon at that time. Great game. Yes, and Some say. so I start I started watching the movie. And then I paused it. And I'm like, hold on. Let me look up a screen <laughs> run, a, a speed run of Double Dragon. Maybe I'm forgetting something. Yeah. <laughs> so then I watched a speed run of the first Double Dragon. And then I went, huh. And then I continued to play the movie. And I went, what is any of this? Yeah, it's a little why. Uh, that is a problem for a lot of these old movies. Because the games didn't have rich stories full of lore That's and characters. Right. And it's hard to make a game out of, uh, you know, an 8-bit fighter. It you know? really is. And both this and Super Mario Brothers, they really went the extra mile. Boy, did they. The <laughs> writers like, on this, good God. <laughs> By the way, uh, not one of the screenwriters. Uh, the screenplay is Michael Davis, Peter Gold. Paul Dini, uh, right? The story was Paul Dini. Paul Dini, Batman yeah. the Animated Series. Yeah. And, oh. and the Batman video games. Arkham, uh, Arkham Asylum yes. and Arkham City, right? Or at least the first one, I, I think. Th yeah, yes, I th yes. it was one of those. I can't quite remember. And actual Batman comics. That's right. Uh, I, I was shocked when I saw his name Me in the too. credits at the end. I was like, I'm sorry, what? Yeah. Uh, he was also one of the story guys for the first season of Lost. Really? Interesting. Yes. So, okay. so, yeah, the video game. Your girlfriend's stolen by a gang for whatever reason. And you have to beat up punks in the street. Punks in the jungle, punks in a magic pyramid. Yep, that's right. And then you have to kill the boss at the end. And then your girlfriend comes out and kisses one of you. It's a very simple story. It's very simple. Very, very now, simple. Now, how do you make a movie about that? Well, how I would make the movie, I would follow the game. I would start the movie. There's a woman standing in the street. And she just gets punched in the face yeah. and then taken away. Exactly. To a magical pyramid, a laboratory, yes. the jungle. Uh, no, yeah, so this is, 
This is a very, very confusing movie. I did not look up the director, did you? Yes, it is uh, James U- Ukich or something. Okay. Ukich? Yeah, James, okay. who is not known for anything other than the Cheetah Girls. He, he directed a bunch of Cheetah Girls movies. Okay. And Def Leppard tour videos. Okay. Okay. And a ton of Phil Collins. Now, you're probably thinking, wow, Phil Collins, that is the peak of cinema. <laughs> and you're going to see that in this movie, let me well, tell you. Well, no, that. this is the 90s where they were grabbing music video directors. And it happened in Alien 3. Oh, that's right. Michael yeah. Bay got Michael a star Bay. in yeah, music videos. Right. Yeah, This was the era of just like, I forgot. You know what? Yeah. Shame on me. Yeah. But the Cheetah Girls, baby. <laughs> yeah, he really did it. This wasn't a career win for him film-wise. But hey, he's, he's working. Hey, let me tell he's you. Working. I love this movie. Let me tell you. So... So yeah, so why did you play the game before you saw this movie? What Boy, is because people do the same thing with <laughs> Super Mario Brothers. And I watch I played the game as a little kid. It's one of the first games I remember yep. playing. And I remember watching the movie being very confused. And I remember having the same experience with this. And I get they're they're funny and they're whatnot. And I enjoy both of these movies, Super Mario Brothers and Double Dragon. Me too. But there are people like you who love them. Love it. Please exp- absolutely love it. Explain to me, Let what, me tell you, what I, was it about this? See, I played the video game okay. all the time. Okay. And then the movie, it came out before my time. But I saw it because they had a display for it because they had a video game section at my local Video yeah. King. Yeah. So, you know, you got your Super Mario Brothers, you got your Mortal Kombat, Double Dragon, and I thought, I love that game. So I watched it. Mm-hmm. Now, Tony, I have this thing where I obsessively watch movies yes, over I and do. over and too. over again. I must have watched this movie for like a year straight. Now, you're probably thinking, what do you find so enjoyable about it? It's so enjoyable because it's so campy and so bad, like (laughs) filmmaking-wise. If if you can get your cinema snob self out of your own brain. My good friend Brad Jones? What about him? Hey, whoa. You need to get him out of here because you need to watch this movie through the lens of a very small child who was a middle child. Didn't have a lot of friends. I didn't have a lot of hobbies. All I had was movies. And Double Dragon... It was there for me when I needed it. Oh, so this is a movie for losers. Got it. Okay, so. <laughs> Mom? <laughs> that, that makes a lot of sense to me. I understand now completely. If you don't have a lot of friends, this is the movie for you. Let me tell you. You know, I did have friends. Maybe that's me and my friends were like, wow, we'd rather be playing double. That's track. what I'm saying. When you're when you're with your friends, everyone's shitting on mm. the movie and you're like, oh, look at that, look at mm. that. Meanwhile, you're sitting in your basement alone and you're thinking, wow, this is a great movie. And then I you think get I to just school. like the martial arts stuff. Oh, this, that's I was the into best fighting. part about it. I was into it, fighting sure. stuff as a kid. Me too. I used um, to do martial arts in my basement and stuff. Same. Very badly, of course. Yeah. And that was really what drew me to this movie. But I had Mortal Kombat. And it was just yeah. like, what's Mortal Kombat? I never got into that. When so. Mortal Kombat comes out, it's like well, I'm never watching Double Dragon again. I have Mortal Kombat. I was obsessed with video games, so the yeah. fact that I even had a movie about a video game, because mm. my greatest dream is a movie about The Legend of Zelda, yeah. and this was the closest I could get, and I loved it. Oh, the closest you would get would probably be the movie Legend with Tom Cruise. That's right. The that's, director's that's cut right. I prefer. Yes. Anyway, uh, yeah, so, so now we're on two different ends. I'm the one who's like, this movie's whatever, it's dumb. You're like, this is the greatest this film greatest I've ever seen. Greatest film ever, dude. So this is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> The movie starts with a backstory on the magic medallion mm. that was split in half. One one half gives you the power of body and the other the power of mind. Mm. And they were too strong, so they had to be split in half for these brothers. And and then Al Young shows up. Famous <laughs> stuntman, Al Young. Yeah, exactly. And I'm like, that's Al Young! <laughs> uh, he's there with Lash. Yes. Played by Lady. I forget. Pew. But I know what soap opera she was in because they have a joke about it later in the movie. Do they? Oh, there's a funny inside joke. So Al Young is raiding the village with this girl Lash. They go into a cave. They find the dragon medallion. Uh, By the way, this movie takes place in 2007. It does. Yes, it does. After the big quake. (laughs) Yes. Uh, I don't know if it's in the same continuity as Escape from LA. Probably should be. (laughs) Um, Yes. Uh... I will say the match shots are super good in this. They are very Better, good. Like, um, we re-reviewed a movie called Trancers a while back. Okay. And that also has a sunken LA in it. And they have some pretty nice match shots, but that was like a full moon picture. It was like very, yeah. very low budget. And I thought those look good. This is also not a very big budget no, movie. No, yeah, that's right. I mean, it's got a bigger budget than you 
than average because it's based off a big property at the time. Right. But like I expected them, especially since there's like some pretty bad effects in this. Yeah, exactly. There's literally like a rocket later on. You see the string that the rocket's Oh, on. yeah, I know. So yeah. I did not, whoever did the match, the match shot department. Fantastic. Rushed it. Yeah, literally. There are some of the most beautiful match shots I've ever seen. Especially when you overlook the, the flooded Los Angeles with all the storefronts later yeah. on in the movie. They are amazing. Yeah. Now, now some of those, uh, the mat, like the, the painted buildings. Yep. Now they uh, yeah. they threw those outside of Robert Patrick's window, and, and I'm like, look, you know what? Those looked really good in the mat shots, but when you're trying to tell me that those clearly 2D cutouts are buildings, yeah. it works yeah. in some movies. Did not work in this one. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, those are. They I'm look like, pretty. Bad. I'm like, that is literally a painted backdrop <laughs> yeah, with two exactly, yeah. with like three cardboard buildings. And he's over there like, I want to take over a city. I'm like, there's no yeah, city there. He son. is uh, Shuko. What's his full name? It's a uh, Koga Shuko. Koga Shuko. That's not his actual yes, name. We no. find out his actual name yes. later on. Uh, but yes, he's like, I need both medallions. I only have the one. What the hell? Yep. Uh, and then he massages the medallion and he turns into a shadow thing. Yeah, it's it's a thing for sure. Robert Pat, by the way, I don't know if you guys can tell. Robert Patrick has bleach blonde hair. Hollywood Hulk Hogan, baby. With, with, <laughs> with black roots and a very and a, dark yeah, goatee. And a black stash. And he's wearing like this karate gi with like a black v-neck over it the entire movie. With a cigarette and a cigarette holder that never leaves his mouth. Yes. Never, even uh, in the fight shades. scenes. He usually puts shades on. Oh, in on. the shades, because he doesn't like light. Uh, he is having the time of his fucking life in this movie. Yes, he is. He reminds me of like, uh, he reminds me of Raul Julia in Street oh, Fighter. Oh, that's right, yeah. Who was just like, you know what? I don't fucking care. I'm literally dying right now. I'm just going to have fun today. <laughs> yeah. Robert Patrick, he's like, I'm just going to chew the scenery. Yep. Because exactly. he's already played like the ultimate bad guy in Terminator 2, but That's he couldn't right. really show any of his personality. That's so I right. feel like this is him being like, let me show people I got like a big personality. Exactly. Yeah. And then no one saw the movie. I know. Except which, for you. Which a million is, times. Yeah. I'm in fact, who bought every single copy of the movie. Let me tell you. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, he wants to get the medallion. Uh, <laughs> Mark Dacascus, all right, Mark Mark Dacascus, <laughs> yep. Jimmy, uh, he plays Jimmy, yep. and Scott Wolf plays Billy, uh, and they're in some tournament in the beginning, and Julia Nixon's character, Satori, is watching them. I love the, by the way, so they played a commercial early on for Jack City. Oh, yeah, you don't know Jack yeah. City. So the whole <laughs> thing is, because of the quake, there's all these aftershocks, why didn't they just all move out? I of thought the same thing. No, so, let me jack up the foundation of my building. So all the building, it's actually a really, again, the set design and the mat, not not uh, the Shoku's. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Not the not, window. Not that That's one. pretty bad. They yeah. must have run out that day. Yeah, they, I think they did. But yeah. the set design is pretty cool with like just all oh, the buildings have these jacks on them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then during the <laughs> tournament, the, the building starts to crumble. So the little guy has to <laughs> check. Yeah. He's just going like this. It's amazing. <laughs> the whole it's the time. Best to make scene sure. <laughs> ever. I love this movie. Oh, my God. Uh, but yeah, they're in a tournament. Uh, what you got? Billy, uh, he gets them disqualified. Yes, he does. He jumps on uh, the opponent's back and gives him a nice noogie, and which is actually shocking because Jimmy's character is a real life martial artist. Yes, very talented. I think he was also one of the hosts of Iron Chef. I will have to check that out. And I believe he played uh, Kung Lao in the Mortal Kombat Legacy series. Really, the web series. The second. Oh, season. okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. I got gotcha. you. It's funny to know that Billy, the uh, Scott Wolf, I think is his name. Yes, he has an uncredited role in uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Who is he? As a thug. Oh, like, really? Just a random thug. Oh, that's yeah. funny. That's funny. Um, yeah. So, so are people in Los Angeles not able to leave Los Angeles? You know, I thought the same thing because they had this whole curfew thing. Yeah. They, well, they have a curfew, and, like, but I think the idea is that Hollywood crumbled because of the earthquake. And now famous actors now have different jobs. That's right. So the news is being played. The news is being anchored by George Hamilton and Vanna White. George Hamilton, baby. You and know the him weatherman as, uh, is Andy, Andy Dick. Dick. Yeah, that's right. This movie is loaded. George Hamilton is uh, Desmond Spellman in the straight to VHS Casper meets Wendy. That's true. Dude. Isn't I was the Zorros too? I yeah, think? he is. Yeah. yeah, that's right. But um, I think 
the New Angeles is now in uh, an island. It, you'll yeah. see it in the beginning, and they there's one scene where they walk across the bridge, but the bridge isn't like there's no traffic on the bridge. Yeah. So I wonder if they can even leave that island. That's true. Well, I mean, they can airlift it out. I guess. Well, they have boats and they stuff. Have boats. But, but the water is. We'll get into it. But yeah. the water is very polluted. But I think maybe the idea is that the entertainment industry crumbled. So we so, have Andy so they, Dick so as a weatherman. So they all have to take different jobs. And they're like, well, Andy Dick's the weatherman He now. said something about like acid rain or black smog. Yeah, something yeah. like, get near your black smog <laughs> machines. And if you don't have one, get a job. So if you have a smog fan, stay near it. And if you don't, get a job. Oh, yeah. And, and there like, was, what? there's like a scene later on where people have an oxygen machine. Oh, like yeah, exactly. Into it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there's all these types of gangs in the city. And at night, they uh, they pop up. Uh, because there's a curfew where the gangs are allowed to roam the streets at night while everyone in the day leave everyone alone in the day it's like a truce that was made after the big quake how did they come across that one let me tell you that's one hell of a deal if you're that a is a good deal uh a bobo shows up boa bobo baby yeah uh Mills allen stewart yes he the, doesn't look how i remember the character looking no well let me tell you there's two different versions of the character in this movie in this movie neither looks like the character i remember from the game yeah, it's a little creepy. Does he look like this in a later game? I, I looked up the first of Bobo, and I'm like, that doesn't look like a Bobo. It, it scared the shit out of me as a kid, let me tell you. Oh, the effect is cool and everything. I'm just saying, like, when I when he came out of the car, because it's been a while since I've seen this, I'm yeah. like, that's not a Bobo. You know, it's uh, <laughs> it's for the movie. They hype it up. And and he was in the mask, too. I keep forgetting that he yes, was in the, the mask. So the human version was in the mask. I think the guy in the mutated version is El Scorpio I, from I Predator 2. So. Yeah, yeah, I think so. So he uh, he's tracking down uh, Jimmy and Billy. Uh, They're because, out after curfew. Yeah, they were gonna pick up a lady, and it turned out to be a man, part of the gang. Which was which I just found out actually was was the decoy. Yes, I did not know that. I thought it was just some random thug, <laughs> and they pulled over. But now that I re now that I'm rewatching it, yeah, no, it's a decoy. I did not know that. I did not. I had a simple a, mind back. You thought then. it was a coincidence that the gang showed up at the I, same time. You know point. what? There's a lot of weird activities happening in that city. I don't know what the That's hell is true. going on over there. Uh, this leads to a car chase. Not a very thrilling car chase. The no. cars look cool. The cars, but they're kind of cool. moving slow speed. A little slow. Um, Stoke the fire, Jimmy. So to make up for it, they're like, you know what? We'll we'll cut to a computer. And show like <laughs> yeah. digital cars racing, and it looks like shit. Dude, it looks so bad. It is among the worst effects I've seen. It's one of the worst. Yeah. I'm just like, like I get it. I'm like, all right. You it is just so. You early couldn't 90s. build the full city. <laughs> yeah. You had to like cut corners, and this is like, oh well, block the windshield. So he has to use the 3D. Yeah, he computer. throws a map on the windshield. Which, by the way, what was on that map? It was like, oh, I think it, it was cheese. Oh, from the can. because they all right. So they have a thing where they can throw. It's basically it's basically Back to the Future too. The yeah. Mr. Fusion. They have a Mr. Fusion in their car. We're just throwing things into it. Um, it actually, it's pretty funny. He reads the ingredients of the cheese whiz. Yeah. Oh yeah. And he's like, Do oh, we're well, throwing in, and it makes him go super <laughs> super fast. fast. Yeah. They eventually make it into an alleyway, and then a Bobo just decides to. Drive into the alley at full speed. At full and speed, break his car and get stuck. Literally, just jams it in there. The yep. wheel falls off. Then he kicks the door down, and I'm like, yeah. "What was your escape plan, man? What he's, about your car?" He's going to attack them, but another gang is there. Yes, the Power Core. The Power Core. They're by, not terrorists. They're not terrorists. Uh, led by Alyssa Milano. Mm, yes, tiny, uh, short hair, blonde Alyssa Milano. Indeed, my first crush. In fact, really? Yes. Oh, good lord, was really? It? No, she's kind of insufferable uh, these days. <laughs> in these days, I've never looked her up these days, so I have no idea. I'll check her out on IMDb she, uh, and we'll see. She was complaining about everything going on in the world like a year ago, and then one of her complaints she threw in that. Her podcast only gets a quarter of the listens as Joe Rogan's podcast. And everyone just went, no, you you would be thrilled if you got a quarter of the downloads as Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan made fun of her. That's amazing. Because they're like, oh, your show must be doing good. He's like, oh, it only does slightly better than a yeah. <laughs> I take back my crush. You were good to me. I don't I listen to either of their shows. But yeah, I neither do that. I, yeah. <laughs> I have a friend who reviews podcasts, and that's how I heard oh, it. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, she was big in the 90s. Yes. Well, big in the 80s. She yeah, was in, big like, in the 80s. Uh, who's the boss? That yep. comes up later. That's right. Um, 
Yeah, so she's like, we're the power core. We're going to take back the streets. And they're like, no, <laughs> we don't care. Yeah. Uh, also, she's playing Marion. Yes. Uh, In the most ridiculous reveal I've ever seen. Yeah, they just that, have jackets that, that's, that yeah. are spray painted, and they just pull down the jackets and turn around. And so it's were, they the just, were they just thing. hanging out there, staring at the wall? The uh, yeah, whole time? how did they get there? How did they know? <laughs> um, but yeah, the brothers are split on if they should help her. And Satori lets them know the later on, she lets them know about the medallion. I don't know what leads to the conversation about the medallion. It's just like, hey, oh, yeah, that's we right. got to take yeah. back the streets. And we were just in a karate tournament and I don't know what to do. And then the girl's like, by the way, so your dad died like two like yeah, years exactly. ago. And uh, I got to give you this medallion. It's magic. <laughs> and they're like, well, thanks for letting us, un- yeah, letting exactly, us know now. Yeah. That, that's very convenient. Yeah, over <laughs> at, at the dinner table, too. Like, just nonchalantly. Yeah. Um, yeah, and meanwhile, Opobo, he goes back to Robert Patrick's Shuko. Shoku? Shuko. 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 And uh, he's like, yeah, I messed up. Sorry, I didn't see the medallion. Just no big deal. He was like, I thought it was a piece of cheap jewelry. Yeah. And Robert Patrick, let me tell you. He gets very upset. He is very, very upset. He brings him down to the secret lab. And then he's like, I'm not going to kill you. You're like a son to me, Abobo. <laughs> but I can always have another son. But I consider you like a son, Abobo. And like a son, I can always have another. But I can always have another one. <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> like, yeah, that's not really, that's not a really good motivator. Uh, and he puts him in the uh, de-evolution machine. Oh, sorry, I'm confused. I thought <laughs> yeah, I was. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, th- I I was confused. I thought this was uh, Toad. Yes. In the Super Mario Brothers movie, because it's the same thing. Boy. Um, Boy. <laughs> he puts him in the mutant machine, I guess. And the uh, shot of him screaming as it zooms into his face is yeah. among the best shots in the movie, let me tell you. But you're right, Marion, uh, during the day, she pretends to be a normal all-American girl. She yeah. puts her wig on. And, and she her puts br- the wig on only because in the game she has brunette hair, is what I read. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but her brother's in- on to it. He's like, give me five bucks to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> yeah, like, shut exactly. Up. <laughs> Meanwhile, her dad is like the head of the police. Yep. And he's he, like those goddamn power core. I hope they all terrorists. die. <laughs> I hope they all are on fire, especially their blonde leader. Yeah. And then Alyssa Milano's like, well, dad, I think they're okay. Sir, that's your daughter, please. <laughs> Good God. I love that scene because the kid is sitting just eating cereal and there's a shot where he takes a spoonful of cereal and it just all drops before he gets it in his mouth. <laughs> It's like, what? dude, take another take, please. I didn't notice that. That's funny. <laughs> um, yeah, so he's like, hey, listen, lady, you don't remember what it was like after the quake. You were too young. There was all this violence and stuff. Everything sucked. We, we eventually made it through, and we made a deal with the gang. So just relax. At least the day the daytime is safe, Marion. So what do they do during the day? Just like right traffic? Tickets? Well, if you, if you notice, in the gangs come out of their little warehouses. So I think they just hang out in the warehouse and... Like but I mean, what are the cops? What kind of crimes are the cops stopping? Oh, that's right, because all the criminals are at night. What are they doing? I guess they're just writing, speeding tickets, speeding and, tickets and loitering. You know, infractions and jaywalking yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Stuff that me and Tony would never do. Of no, course, never, but never. Uh, I follow the rules. Me too. Me too. Even a GTA. Yeah, I, I I've never beaten a GTA game. I am quite disappointed in you, Tony. Well, because the the I played GTA three. And they went, steal that car. And I went, oh, and I went, you know what? I went, no, that's wrong. That's a good point, Tony. I commend yeah. you. Yeah. That's very good. I would love to know how GTA 5 is, but in the beginning, it's like, rob this bank. And I'm like, I'm not robbing the bank. No. Oh, Tony's a good boy. Yeah, I'm, I'm a good boy. You leave I'm him alone. I'm not robbing any banks. No, he's a good boy. Everyone's like, it's got this big map. I'm like, I don't know. I only ever saw the bank, and I turn myself in yeah. every time. No, I'm going to go play tennis. In, that was the best uh, 60 Los bucks Santos. I ever spent. Exactly. I'm like, 60 bucks, I fire up the game. The cops are like, get in here. And I'm like, okay. And then there I turn go. the game off. Yeah, and that's it. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I've been wanting to do like a Grand Theft Auto good boy stream. Where oh, just, dude. Where I just walk around. To. Yeah, just walk you around. have to. I want to see if I can just walk. I want to do one where it's like a crimeless run and make a video about it, but <laughs> hey it take forever. <laughs> in this episode, I'm just jogging. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, Kogashugo shows up at the uh, brother's place. What is his real name? I, uh, um, Geisman? Ge- Geisman. Geisman. S- uh, Richard Geisman. Some, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Richard he's Geisman. Like, no one's called me Richard Geisman. Either. I I always heard that, and I'm like, why, why is that important? And is he's that like, lore? He's like, I've taken, I don't know. 
now. Yeah, I have I no know. idea. He's like, I've taken uh, the name of this ancient ancient war- Japanese warrior. Yeah, Kogashuko. Kogashuko, and she's like, yeah, that's nice, guys. Yeah, exactly. Um, he tries to get the other half, uh, and a big fight breaks out. And by fight, I mean they're mostly running away and climbing things. And Robert Patrick keeps the cigarette in his mouth the entire time. Yes, it's fantastic. Yes. Let me tell you. Oh, I forget. I think we forgot to mention earlier, uh, Lash turns on the lights at Shuko's place oh, and yeah. hurts his eyes. Yeah. That comes up later. Yes. So uh, while this big chase and fight is happening, the mutated Abobo shows up. Boy, and he's horrifying. He, he is terrifying, he is dude. Terrifying. Oh, my God. <laughs> dude, yeah. scares the shit out of me every time I see it. I'm like, oh, my God. They take care of him pretty quick. Yeah, they do. Uh, but it turns out Satori is... is Taken over by the shadowy Robert Patrick. The power of the mind, baby. Yeah, yeah. He uses his shadow power. He does on this her. whole. Can you believe? In there. Can you believe that Robert Patrick can turn his body into some other type of material? Oh, it's, it's and then can wild. disguise himself as other people. I know. Never, never Shape seen it shifting. Never That's seen crazy. it before. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he lights the theater on fire. Which is ridiculous. Yes, it's a, it's a big fire. He leaves a Bobo there. Fuck him, Yeah, I, I know, exactly. Yeah, well, uh, he can always have another son. He can always have another that's, son. That's what I'm saying. Uh, but yeah, they uh, they light the theater on fire, and Satori, they, they get her out, but then he goes to fight her. Well, you forgot one major thing. Oh, sorry. So when a Bobo comes in, the boys decide to throw bricks at him. Right. Okay, you know, how else are you going to take down a gigantic man like that? Mm-hmm. So they're going to throw bricks at him. Well, Jimmy, or maybe it's Billy. I think it's Billy throws a brick and it flies past him and it hits a gas line. And it oh. busts open the gas line. So okay. then when Shuko lights the theater on fire, that's why they got to get out because there's gas spewing into the theater and it's going to blow up. Gotcha. Yes. Gotcha. Which is a major, major plot point that I don't want to miss. Gotcha. Uh, but story, uh... She sacrifices herself. She locks the boys out, and she fights uh, Shuko, who kills her, and she blows up and dies. Yes, she does. She is dead. Dead. Rest in peace. So all the gangs show up. Yeah. <laughs> They're called to by a meeting. Uh, oh, no, I missed one thing. Sorry. All right, I'll get to it in a second. So, yeah, the gangs show up. They're called to a meeting by Shuko. Yep. And Michael Perry, yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> I guess is like the spokesperson for the gang, the, the lead gang member. He's like, "Who's trying to unite us? I don't want to. I want a bigger cut than the rest." And blah blah blah. And then uh, Robert Patrick shows up, and he's like, "I'm going to use my shadow powers to choke you." <laughs> yeah, and you just see you just the, see shadow. the shadow <laughs> on the wall choking, and then him like, and he's oh, like, "Oh my oh, god." god. <laughs> Poor Michael Berryman. He's all like, yeah. he's like, fuck this. I'm going to be in The Crow. <laughs> and then he, they cut his scenes out of yeah, The Crow. Yeah, they did cut those scenes. That's Man, that, that would have been odd. Have you seen his footage from The Crow? No, I have not seen him. They got him. So in the, co- the Crow comics, there's like a skull cowboy. It's like a zombie cowboy. Yeah. And I guess it's tied to whatever mystical force brings The Crow back. Yeah. And he's kind of like a kind of a mentor, like a dark mentor. Uh, and the makeup effects are awesome. Really? And he looks awesome. But... What's his face tragically died. Oh yeah, that's right. And then they yeah. were like, "Shit, we didn't finish filming all the scenes with the Skull Cowboy." And they're Dude. like, "Dude." So they basically told him like, "We're cutting you from the movie. It wouldn't make sense. That there's no sucks, way." That sucks, man. Like, there's the we never filmed this dialogue or anything. Wow, you're out. So he was like, he's always been like let down by like. There's nothing they can do. Yeah, exactly. Like he understands, sure. but he's like, man, that it would have been really good if I was in that movie. Well, he's in the cinematic masterpiece Double Dragon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he made it in Double <laughs> Dragon instead. I recently recently saw him <laughs> for some reason. I watched the entire live action Conan the Barbarian TV show. I he am, shows up toward I the am, end of I that sorry. one. Last episode, actually. Actually, no, whatever. He shows up. Toward yeah. The end. OK. OK. Uh, it's one of those shows where there's the last episode and then they shit out a lost episode. They never aired. Oh, yeah. And it's like, well, that's <laughs> technically not the last episode. God damn it. Uh, um, so, yes. He uh, Shuko's like, hey, you all work for me now. We're going to split all our profits, do crimes during the day, and get me that fucking medallion. Yeah. And the Simple gangs, deal. The gangs are like, oh, okay. Yeah, sounds good to Meanwhile, me. Meanwhile, Alyssa Milano's gang finds a Bobo in the rubble. Yes. And instead of killing him. Boy, <laughs> what do they do to him? <laughs> they, they, they take him in, and they feed him spinach to try to get information from yeah, him. Yeah, they feed him spinach. 
And they're like, give me all the information you got on Shuko. And they're like, oh, no. And then he just farts and... Yeah, he farts. There's no way that spinach would go down that funnel into his yeah. mouth. It's just and then he, a weird then, scene. And then the movie forgets he exists for a while. Exactly. Jimmy and Billy stumble into like a gang. And it's all the gangs. <laughs> Which is the most. This is the most it feels like Double Dragon with them fighting it's different just gang members. Random, like a clown, a lawyer, a mailman. A yeah, the mailman. Like, like, is it a mailman gang or is they actually the mailman? I don't know. Maybe both. Confusing. Maybe that's his day job. That's what I always thought. <laughs> so maybe he, he makes sense me in during the day as a mailman, and then when the sun goes down and his kids go to sleep, he goes and ravages some uh, some buildings. That or makes something. sense to me. You know, that's what I'm saying. Uh, I do like the clown gang oh, the cl- funny. with the fingers and everything. Yeah, they're just <laughs> so weird. So yeah, they're fighting everyone in this cool looking wasteland. Uh, I love set they, design, fantastic. I love that, that they find the like super strong motorcycle. And then they go to drive in and it just breaks just apart. falls apart, dude. Which I don't know how that would have helped them. They're on the water. I was just thinking the same thing. Like, the people are blocking the pier. You're not yeah. going anywhere. So they find a boat, and it leads to this exciting boat chase. Uh, oh boy. Pretty Fil- crazy boat chase. Yeah, filmed in Ohio, in fact. Yes. yes. Uh, and again, the match shots with, like, the sunken, oh, like, dude, Hollywood so Boulevard. Good. So uh, good. They go by the, the Chinese theater, which is pretty the cool. The tour boat and everything. That's which, again, cool. reminds me of Transfers, because in Transfers, he, like, scuba dives. Oh, yeah, exactly. And then he goes back in time, and she's like, we're by the Chinese theater. It's like, oh, yeah, I know. I swim here all the time. She's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, so it's an exciting chase. All the tour bus, tour boat is going by yeah. at the time. They're like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But you're right. It leads to a big explosion. And I was reading. I read the same thing. Yeah, I was reading <laughs> that the explosion, like people nearby were like, oh my God, what? Yeah. They started calling like the cops and everything. They used 200 gallons of alcohol and 700 gallons of gas. Yeah. And they, in like within a 10 or 15 mile radius, they received like 100 911 calls. Yeah. Because the explosion was that big. Yeah. Which is crazy to me. Yes. Like, hey, we're going to shoot an, uh, a big explosion here. Everybody watch out. They didn't do that. They just blew the thing oh, up. Oh, they didn't they, let people know no. ahead of time? And they just blew 700 gallons of gasoline off. And I, they poured gasoline in the river and lit the river on fire and everything. It yeah. was so bizarre. Because I remember... um. When Dark Knight, when they blew up the hospital, they did let people know, but I guess some people missed the memo. Oh and yeah, they all yeah, freaked yeah, yeah. Out. <laughs> <laughs> um, I oh, like, I have, I have it written. They received yeah. over two hundred calls. Oh, jeez, that's even worse. Good lord. <gasps> okay, yeah. So the boys, they, I still don't know how they survived. They drive their jet ski or the boat into a sign that explodes. That explodes. Why does the sign exp- anyway? I, you know what? I don't know. But then they somehow survive in the water that they said was acid, but then it's not. I guess. Well, in the scene previous, they the gang members take a bucket of water and pour it on the fire, and that lights the fire. So you think, boy, I better not go in that water. Yeah. And they, then the next scene, the the two boys are in there, just like water in their mouth. Yeah, and he's like, like I heard you get out. water in your mouth, you lose your hair or something. Get like diarrhea that. for a you week. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, but uh, the bad guys think they're dead. And then uh, they try to look for the medallion. They can't find it. Yep. The, the two henchmen. Yep. And Robert Patrick is not thrilled with them. He's That's right. Like, what the hell's wrong with you? He's like, it's a big river. It's and like, it, God damn it. In that scene, he's Robert Patrick says, Huey, Lewis, any news? Huey, Lewis, any news? Like Huey Lewis in the news, <laughs> which just I, kills me. I didn't realize their names are Huey me. and Lewis. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Huey, Lewis, any news? It kills me every time. <laughs> okay, movie, you got you got that one. Yeah. You got that one. We got him. That's a good one. We're movie. reeling them in. Reeling them in. Tony from the movies is coming in, baby. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I have it here. I, I Robert Patrick's having fun. Yeah, he's having a blast. <laughs> having a blast. What is just what control of one major bunch of major our city in front it's of like, the dude, painted you can't window? Find a better city. The <laughs> yeah. city sucks. <laughs> It sucks now. Imagine in a post-apocalypse. Dude, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, sorry, Los Angeles. Uh, <laughs> sorry to my friends in Los Angeles. Um, yeah, so the the boys show up to Alyssa Milano's uh, lair. Uh, the funny thing, please use other door. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and they go through this whole crazy thing. Like, why didn't you use the stairs? Yeah. Like, please yeah. use other door. <laughs> 
So she asks for proof that the medallion works, but they can't get the medallion to work. They don't know why. In a very weird scene, they where they think it's working. Yeah, it's just but very someone's odd. just swinging a thing. That's yeah, making a sound. Very, very odd. Let so me Robert tell you. Patrick was able to figure it out right away. Right away. I guess he researched it. I don't know. Well, you know what? That's what I'm assuming so, because all he had to do was do the, the rub and hand thing. Yeah. And Jimmy and Billy did the same thing, and nothing happened. And yeah. matter of fact, they got laughed at. Yeah. So, you know, what's what's going on there? The medallion is, I, I would get rid of it. I'd be like, yeah, just fucking take it. Yeah, just fucking, like, just let me live in peace. I'll go live out in yeah. old New York or whatever they're calling New York in this fucking <laughs> Me and Snake Plissken, we're going to hang out in New York. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look for the president. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so she has a plan to break into Shuko's lair. She has like that little device. Oh, the, the, uh, yeah. enemy device that, yeah, she's like, yeah. I'm going to break in. I'm going to hack the thing and say that one gang is making more money than the other. Cause now the gangs are running around during the day. That's causing right. All kinds yeah. of problems. It's all, it's all anarchy, yeah. man. So she's like, I'm going to do this and it's going to be great. Uh, but when they infiltrate the lair, she finds out that her dad is taking a meeting with Shuko and yes. he's trying to bribe him. Yes. With yes. ten million dollars, I think. I think his name. Yes, out. and the dad's not having it. He's like, nope. Yeah, for you ten can't million dollars, let me tell you. You know what I'm saying? Mm, I agree. Anyway, um, <laughs> the boys are trying to use a string and a magnet to get the medallion, and I like that Lash is just looking at it, like, like not even doing anything, just like watching it go up and down, and waits to act. Yeah, she takes a really long time to act. Uh, but yeah, she eventually pulls like that big, like, uh, what's it called? There's a name for that stick with the... Oh, yeah. It. It's just called a sword to me. You know what I'm saying? A big spear thing. Look up the name of that weapon. Uh, but yeah, she stabs it in the, the roof. In and a they fall violent down. manner. Yeah. Good, good Lord, that would have taken somebody's head <laughs> off. Good uh, God. But yeah, then we get this like... The guys escape into the lair. And yep. Shuko goes after him and yep. his, with his magic powers. But like, there's an extended fight scene between Lash and the police chief. There is. That goes yeah. on for a while. A long time. <laughs> yeah. And the way that Lash gets defeated is yeah. the police chief just pushes over like a cabinet on her. Yeah. And she just like, just lays there like that. And I'm like, what is the most yeah. anticlimactic thing ever? Yeah, it was pretty <laughs> ridiculous. Um... Yeah, but in the basement, you know, they have the lab, uh, and that's where Shuko's <laughs> mutants are, and he can he can go into their bodies, and I don't remember these guys from the game. I'm sure there was Dude, some type of mutants. And the, the basketball game. player reminds me of that Frankenstein Frankenstein yeah. guy from um, uh, Wild Wild West. Oh, that's right. what that reminds me <laughs> yeah. of because he has the metal chin and the metal yeah. hat. I didn't just so guy bizarre. With, like, scissor hands. Oh or yeah, something. yeah. That it's so weird. Yeah. I do like I. I do like that the big door to the fan cr squashes oh, him. Yeah, and the but shadow the comes shadow out. The still there. That's that was pretty, pretty cool. But then the fan gets rid good. of the shadow. Yeah, exactly. Like, what is that? The, the, it's a spirit, man. Good yeah. lord. So the boys get split up. Jimmy gets caught by Shuko and them. Yep. Uh, and Billy and Alyssa Milano, they take off. Yep. So the police are at war with the gangs, and the dad is now more motivated. And he tells the cops, he's like, who's going to be with me to take on the crime? They're like, not us. Yeah, nobody. Not and us. Fun fact, in that scene, so this movie takes place in Los Angeles. You can mm -hmm. see an, uh, an Ohio flag in the background, Maybe. which cracks me up. Maybe there was a guy from Ohio. There. You know what? Perhaps you're right, Tony. Yeah. Perhaps you're right. We're just we're supporters of Ohio here. Again, I don't remember a lot of this happened in 2007. Neither do I. <laughs> No, I wasn't in LA in 2007. What do I, I know? Would I. I wasn't what do in Ohio I know? either. Right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the cops are like, nah, we're good. And then he just walks out, he walks in, out. in a badass manner. He's going to face them alone. In a fucking Humvee. Yes. Slams the door and drives it's off. It's him against the gangs. Mm, oh, because yes. now he knows his daughter's involved. Oh, that's right. Yep, they're like, you right. just want to save your daughter. He's like, no, my daughter's doing our job. Yeah, We've exactly. Been slacking. We need to man <laughs> up. And they're like, nah. Yeah. Now nah, we're good. So there's a big fight in the gang headquarters. Yes. And uh, Lash fights Alyssa Milano and goes, now who's the boss? Oh, that it, makes a lot of sense. There's another There's another moment coming. So a Bobo is looking in the mirror and he has an existential crisis. He's like, my face is so ugly. Is this the first time he sees it? Yeah. I, has he not seen this face yet? Like, I don't understand. Kind of made me sad, because, like, if I had a new body, I'd kind of be looking down thinking, 
the hell's going yeah, on back you think here? You look at his hands. Yeah. Like, something's up. Yeah, exactly. Uh, also, is this the, does he? I assume he's been shitting in there. Did he not wash his hands and I look in the mirror? I was just thinking the same thing. And also, like, where is he sleeping? There's no bed in that room. I don't know. It's just like a stool, a toilet, and a sink, and that's it. Yeah, it's very odd. Everything in this movie is very <laughs> dirty. Um, but yeah, so they're fighting. The gang seems to have won for now. They tie Lash up. And then Alyssa Milano goes, generally, I put people in the hospital. Because General Lash hospital. Lash was on General Man. Hospital. I never caught that. Yes, I would have wow. caught that if I didn't read the trivia. Wow. <laughs> well, the, it's also funny because Lash throws the uh, the whip, and then mm. Alyssa Milano just cuts it off, yeah, and then that's that just the funny. end of her. She's like, well, that's, yeah, that's kind of That's all I have to offer in this fight. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, she's like, I'm just the whip girl. I, I'm, yeah, I'm exactly. Done. So Jimmy shows up. Yes. But it's not really Jimmy. Yeah, we it's forgot to mention Shuko. that. Shuko. Yeah. yeah. And now brother against brother. Mm. And while this is happening, we get an Italian history lesson. Yes, we do. About, and there's two Italians. We like this. Yes. You know Romulus and Remus. Yo, Romulus and Remus. <laughs> hey, a pasta, pasta hey, pizza. Pasta fagiole. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Um, yeah, and as he's talking, I'm like, wow, that's a really good story. And then I just stopped and I went, hold on. There's a double dragon cabinet in this? Yeah, yeah. and that's the only one that gets punched through. I'm like, like wait what a is minute. this? I'm like, wait, what? Yeah. I'm like, don't do th the new Rampage movie did the same thing. I saw that one too, yeah. And oh. I thought they were going to play into it like maybe she liked the game Rampage and wanted to make the monsters, but the monsters were coincidences. Yeah, that's that's exactly right. At no point does Malin Ackerman's character in Rampage go, wow, this is a lot yeah. like that arcade <laughs> cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> At no, well, you know what? It makes sense. They wouldn't be like, wow, everything that's happening is nothing like that arcade That game. is true. That is very true. Except for the name Double Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I couldn't believe that. I'm like, really, game? Yep. Okay. The only one that's punched You know through. what else did that... Beastmaster 2 through the portal of time. Oh my when he when he goes God. to present day Los Angeles, they're driving, and then he looks over and it says Beastmaster yeah. 2 <laughs> through the portal on the thing. It's like, wait, what? What's going on? I love it. I love it. Um, so yeah, Billy rejects the medallion. He's like, I don't need you. And then for some reason, the medallion's like, I'm his best friend now. Like, Basically, like, from what I understand. The medallion is destined to be with him. So it says, whoa, don't get rid of me. Your time is now, son. Boom, right but back to you. Why wasn't it doing it earlier? You know, I wish I had an answer for you, but I don't. And this movie is full of these. Well, it gives him strength of the body. Yes. I do like the whole thing where like the bad guy is just like, you better give me that medallion or I'm going to kill your brother. And he stands underneath the big weight <laughs> thing yeah, exactly. to get crushed. It's like back to the future. Shit. Uh, but yes, they're, they're fighting. He somehow kicks Shuko out of him. Somehow, Somehow. And bef but before that, there is this sweet scene where Jimmy does a sweep, like gainer forward backflip up right, a thing, right. and you can clearly see, see it the was cameraman. reversed. And oh, you can see oh. the you can see that it's reversed, but the cameraman. Next time you watch yeah. it, it's right there. You can see the whole camera. It's amazing. That's funny. It's the best part about it. Let me tell you. That's funny. Uh, but yeah, they kick him out, but he um he gets the medallion. Yes, yes, he does. Oh, you said, said it. it. <laughs> so then Shugo now has the medallion. He turns all the lights off in the city. Yep. He he makes two ninjas. He, they're, they're like orcs. They, I will say though, the effect of the two ninjas splitting. That was kind of cool. It was fucking that was sick. Kinda, that was kind of yeah, cool. Yeah, holy that shit. That was kind of cool. I, I As I'm watching, I'm like, oh my God, this yeah. looks amazing. So now he has power of the body and the mind and he's making ninjas out of nothing and they got laser swords because they could just melt through anything. Anything, literally. And then a Bobo breaks out and then just goes, he doesn't like lights. And that's it. And then they go but to the generator. I thought with having the double dragon, you'd have like the ultimate power and... That you wouldn't way. have a silly weakness like lights. No, I don't think, like once you get that, you don't have that weakness. But I anymore. think it's just more a personal thing. Like he just doesn't like lights personally. They bother him, so that's his little bit of weakness. So they I, have the, the the ability to kick him and get the medallion back. I you know guess. what? It doesn't make a lot of sense, Tony. It here it we're not here to analyze this. Here <laughs> I feel like we've said that a lot. Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> So yeah, he puts the lights on. Somehow they get the uh, the medallions, and then they're finally wearing 
I guess not their outfits from the game, but I think they're the- from the Sega Genesis version oh, okay. i think okay. is what what those outfits are from yeah because they were wearing red and blue earlier in the movie yeah. but now they have like their superhero there's outfits. a name for them and i don't know what that name and then is the guy's like do we have to wear these and i was a kid i'm like no you finally kind of look like the guy it's yeah, how exactly. i felt yeah it's how i felt in super mario brothers when they finally wore red and green yes. i'm like oh my god what took you fucking so yeah, long exactly um yeah and they're uh kicking ass they beat him up they possess his body they can go now they can go into his body and I like that they force him to turn himself in. Yeah, and the, he has like this machine that writes checks. Oh, and he yeah. writes a check to the LAPD for $120 million. Yeah, and he's like, and then prints out, signs it, and hands it to the he's officer. He's like, you can't bribe me. He's like, well, then arrest me. Yeah. I told you, you can't bribe me. No bribe. Arrest me. <laughs> yeah, and then he exactly. comes out of his body. He just does this whole like, <clears throat> yeah. What happened? It's just <laughs> hilarious. Uh, yeah, and then there's a nice little happy ending. There is. Marion rebuilt their dragon wagon. Yes, yes. Then a Bobo shows up, and he wants to drive the wagon. And Jimmy assumes that Bimmy is using the medallion to possess him. Exactly. And they're like, oh, it's clearly just Billy in a Bobo's yeah, body. Yeah, exactly. Like, sure, a Bobo, let's drive. But no, Billy's in the back seat, And they're scared that they're in the car with a Bobo, even though they're, like, invincible. Who has a... Shady driving record from his past. Yes. Uh, but I do love that they drive past the two henchmen. It's like, yeah, we'll exactly. hench for food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Huey Lewis, baby. Huey and Lewis. And he knew. So, so, yeah, a Bobo is their best friend. Uh, <laughs> stupid. Yeah. Really stupid. <laughs> yeah, you know, listen, I don't deny that. I'm just saying it's a fun ride, right? It's not the worst thing ever. Like, I wasn't miserable watching it. I actually was enjoying same thing with Super Mario Brothers. I don't hate that movie, but I'm like, I just don't understand the love for them. Maybe that's just me. When you when you can just kind of view it through the lens of a small, lonely child, it becomes much more enjoyable. Let me tell you. I guess. I guess. Uh, Double yeah, Dragon, the music, the uh, movie for losers, as Tony <laughs> put it. <laughs> so it's a good time. It's usually on free streaming sites. It was on Tubi. Oh, it was on uh, Pluto TV when I watched it. Oh, you watch on Pluto? Which is, let me tell you, the worst streaming service I've ever seen. We talked about it in the Ring episode, but that episode didn't do so well, so I'm going to mention it here. Yes, yes. They have the worst ad breaks. It's insane. put ad breaks in the most frustrating places. Just like, boom, and then throw it's it in there. Always the same three or four ads. It is. It is. Oh, dude, I saw some of the worst ads I've ever seen. Not like normal ads you'd see on TV. It'd be like some news guy saying, hey, KFC now has chicken nuggets. I'm like, are you serious? Like, that was a legit ad. It's like, wait, they didn't already have that? I'm like, Isn't that what? like chicken their thing? Yeah, I'm like, Kentucky Fried Chicken, baby. Yeah. It's it- just... So bizarre. Pluto's Avoid terrible. Pluto. Yeah, it's, Tubi, it's something. Tubi spaces out their ads really well. I like Tubi. Tubi has, has come in clutch for me plenty of times. Tubi let me tell is you. becoming my favorite streaming Hey, it's, it's completely free, and uh, it's a nice place to have like B and C movies, basically. And honestly, if I wasn't just using other people's Netflix or HBO Max accounts, I would have gotten rid of them a long time ago. Exactly. I agree with you completely there, Tubi, Tony. Tubi's way better. It's way better. Uh yeah, so I would I would recommend watching it if you're curious. It don't don't make it a priority. It's like a it's a fun like party movie. If you really like Double Dragon, don't watch this. Yeah, don't don't watch it if you really there like Double Dragon. Double but... Dragon game that came out recently, right? Did oh, do, like, the, Double Dragon Four. Yeah, like uh, a couple years ago, I think. Yeah, I think I edited a Cinemasker video for that. Yeah, I think like in 2019, I think is when it came yes, out. Yes, yeah. yes, I remember that. Now. Yeah. That came out. I know there was the fan game of Bobo's Big Adventure. Yep. That was fun. Oh, yeah, that one. Fantastic game yeah, if you haven't played it. Wow. Uh, what's the other one that came? Wasn't there like um Final Fight? There was like a new Final Fight. Oh, there was a new Final Fight. That was yeah. fun. The fin- new, the new was Final Fight was incredible. The, the, the graphics and stuff were really good. Oh, yeah, I keep wanting good. to play it, but it's like I need to play it with friends. Yeah. And I just don't have anyone to play with. Oh, yeah. Believe me, I understand. <laughs> I guess I am a loser. Maybe I will like Double Track. You know what? The movie for you. Because those side-scrolling beat-em-up games, they're really hard to play single player. They are. Need, I agree. You I agree. need other uh, players on them. Uh, but yeah, I, it's a very, it's a very, it's a very it's a weird movie. movie. It's a movie. It's in that time of like they, 
some say they never figured out video game movies, but like this definitely, this is when they were dealing with video games that had less to work. Yeah, with. exactly. And they're like, exactly. Like, what do we do? Yeah. <laughs> and what do we? What the fuck do we do with this? We can't just be a guy beating people up. Yeah, for two exactly. Hours. There's no uh, backstory behind it. It's yeah. just like a guy beating somebody up in a jungle. All right, yeah. Let's just go to a jungle yeah, and but film then they, somebody. Then they like go so off the mark, especially Super Mario Brothers. This is a little bit. This is a little bit easier to digest than Super Mario well, Brothers. Well, Super Mario Brothers is, is you're right, way off the mark. This yeah. at least has some sort of tie they're, they're, to the they're movie. They're fighting gangs. And it kind of explains the double dragon sort of aspect Yes, and of there it. is some magic stuff, I guess. I don't know. I'm not the biggest double dragon guy. No, I neither am I. Games. Neither am I. I played them. They're fantastic. Yeah. But uh, this movie... I, I remember the cartoon. The cartoon was very good. Was the cartoon based off the movie, or was it just its own? No, thing? I think it was just its own thing. I think it was its own. I thing. could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure it was its its own thing. I remember, like, there was that time where they had like the Street Fighter cartoon, yep. the Mortal Kombat cartoon, oh, the dra- yeah, yeah. Double Dragon cartoon, and Savage Dragon. Which yep. Was cool. Yep. Uh, and I remember watching them, and you had to watch them too often because they they played on some weird channel. Um, but I remember watching a few episodes of Double Dragon and really enjoying them. And that's it for me. Yeah, I, I just yeah. I I'm I'm never gonna watch this again. Yeah. Uh, I've seen it maybe three times now. I'm gonna go home and watch it again. Like I watched it literally as a kid. Yep. Uh, I'd seen like reviews for it to refresh my memory, and then I think five or six years ago it was on YouTube for free. Oh yeah, okay. they weren't taking it yep. down. Yep. I was like, you know what? Just for fun. Hey, they got I some put bangers Double Dragon on, there. on, and I was like, eh. yeah. <laughs> And then, and then I recommended it for this because I thought a video game. I haven't done yeah. a video game movie in a while. You I'm said just, Double Dragon, and I thought, boy, this is my I chance I found the to one guy who <laughs> loved Double Dragon more than anything. <laughs> it's the greatest movie I've ever seen in my life. Oh, my God. Anyway, Joey, that is it from us. Tony, nice, I appreciate that. Nice short episode. Here. Yeah, we try to keep it short and sweet, baby. Yeah, you know, you, th- you think there would be more to talk about in Double Dragon. I got to tell you, there's not really a lot of talk there's about There's so in this many movie. ways we could say that was kind of fun. That was stupid. Yeah. Joey, where can we find you? Well, ladies and gentlemen, firstly, you can find me on Screen Rant on YouTube. Secondly, you can find me on Official Joey C on YouTube. And thirdly, follow me on Twitter at Official Joey C underscore, baby. Yes, underscore. Make sure to do the underscore. There's a bot account that I want. (laughs) Twitter, if you're watching, I need it. I told you last time, they are not watching. (laughs) I won't give up the fight. (laughs) I promise. Anyway, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, Join our Patreon. We got a lot of fun Patreon content. Next time you're in town, we should do a commentary track or something. I agree. I think that would be fantastic. That would be a lot of fun. We are two peas in a... Two peas. (laughs) We are two peas in a pod, baby. We're we're Italian. We're pizzas. We are two Two pizzas pizzas in a pan. We are two pizzas in a pan that is in an oven. That doesn't make any sense. You know what? Shut the hell up, Joe. All righty. That is it from us. Uh, Goodbye, everyone. See you later. Did you guys notice I did red and blue? They're playing like Felicia versus Bishamon. And if Bishamon ends with a certain move, you just cut Felicia in half. Did you make sure to see Orchid's thong? Yeah. Here's 30 more chances as she spins around. See, you've got the Batgirl shirt on and you're Robin. wearing a Robin t-shirt. Batgirl and Robin to your Batman. And Turtles ha- is like Star Wars in the like, Star Wars is a 70s thing that ran into the 80s. Yeah. Turtles started in the 80s, but really grew in the 90s. Yeah. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page. Talk, talk, talking about tapes.